exactly this mistake I have made twice. The two times that I have moved when I went to when I went to wanted to move from Nigeria to my first country that I moved to, I went shopping. It didn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. The fashion sense and your fashion sense might not just it, it, it might not it might not it might not join. It might not be the same. Ah, I cannot stress this enough. Butter box. Hi guys, welcome back to the Butter Box Chakra series. My name is Diela and I'm the one who presents the Butter Box Chakra series. So if you're about to Chakra from Nigeria or from Africa to another country, this is the series that you want to be watching. Or if you've Chakra already, if you've newly Chakra, you want to also watch this video. If you know somebody who's about to Chakra or you know somebody who has just Chakra, you should also send them this video. So today we are going to be talking about five things that you need to do before you move from one country to another country top 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 of my list is you should learn how to drive it is not negotiable so if you are going to for if you're going from one country to another country you need to learn how to drive like you need to learn how to drive an automatic car or a manual car but you need to know how to, you should know how to move a car that was one of the biggest mistakes that i made when i was trying when i when i was about to leave nigeria i had no no driving experience it was bad i could eat trust me when you're abroad getting a cab or taking a cab is not a cheap lifestyle except you have someone who is going to play the role who is going to play that role for you you do not want to do it it is expensive it is annoying it is you are going to be don't do it before you go anywhere get your international driving license get your nigerian driving license get driving experience go to any driving school and learn how to drive it is important I cannot say it enough, but you need to know how to drive. Do you get what I mean? Is take it for me. If if it's your last forty k or your last fifty k, go to a driving school before you leave Nigeria. And come and thank me back later. My second tip is that you want to be able to know how to do something, something else apart from your job. You want to be able to learn a skill or have a skill or have a because your salary will never be enough. You know the way your salary was never enough in Nigeria. Trust me. I know that you've done the math. You're like, oh, if I go there and work for 20 hours, I'll earn one million naira. Doesn't work that way. Your salary will not be enough. You always want to be able to make extra money. You always want to, to have the flexibility. Oh, excuse me. You always want to be able to make extra money. You always want that extra change to keep flowing in. And for you to be able to do that, for that extra change to be able to come in and come in regularly, you must be able to offer a service or you must be, you must be able to sell something. It is super important. It is not negotiable. So if you have six months to Jackma, Use that six months, invest it very well into learning something that is lucrative. I do case scenario for me, I'll say learn something that is related to women. Women will spend money, no matter how bad the situation is. We'll buy a new wig, or we'll make our hair, or we'll do eyebrows, or we'll do our nails, or we'll do so anything that is related to women is good business makeup um learning how to cook food selling packs of food abroad or just looking for somebody who is going to do cargo for you from nigeria to wherever for the country to the country you are going to and then you selling stuff is very important so start looking for all these contact details keeping them down because you are going to need it side income is important in the abroad because let's say now in the uk you get two thousand pounds i'm just saying top of my head you pay your rent you will pay council bill i big sorry you pay council tax you pay tv licensing you pay electricity you will pay gas you will pay there's always so if you have a car you pay road tax then you pay um car insurance by the time you finish paying all this, trust me, you are stretched out in, you start having to extra, extra, extra budget, which is not a bad thing, but you do not want to keep find, you don't want to put yourself in a way by you are working six days out of seven days in a week. You will be tired. You will be 
frustrated you'll be angry so in order for you to have that flexibility or for in order for you to have that um what's the way you again in order for you to be able to have that free time for you to breathe and think and do other things and have fun because abroad is not just to make money you also want to build connections you want to network you want to do courses you want to be able to move ahead you won't be able to do that if you're working six days in six out of seven days because that one day you just want to cook eat sleep and everything so the only thing that affords you or that can give you that um what do they call it that can give you that flexibility is for you to be able to do something else so let's say if your contract is three days in a week you're able to choose two other days for you to be able to do your side hustle which is not going to be like the full day it's not going to be a 12 hour shift depending on what you are doing again if you are braiding that would, that would take a lot of time Thirdly, before you leave to another country is you always want to join all the facebook groups related to that area and environment you want to see what it's like you want to follow you want to like you want to read so you can have an idea of what the you can have a feel of the community before you go into the community because when you're able to join these facebook groups it gives you an idea of everything that is going on or maybe not everything but at least it gives you like it gives you like an idea of what is going on so my tip is join all the facebook groups so let's say you are going to like um over hunting now for example join all the over hunting over hunting buy and sell over hunting discourse over hunting this over hunting that over hunting just go over hunting crazy on facebook and read 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 digest come up with your opinions and see what it is that is missing and what it is that you should do Again, if you are business savvy or you're business smart, by the time you go and you see like a trend, okay, oh, all the women are always looking for where to make their nails, for example, or where to do their eyebrows, and it gives you an idea of what you want to learn if you have a few months before you move to that country or before you move to that locality. Lastly, this mistake I have made twice. The two times that I have moved, when I went to when I wanted to wanted to move from Nigeria to my first country that I moved to, I went shopping. It didn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. The fashion sense and your fashion sense might not just it, it, it might not it might not it might not join. It might not be the same. Ah, I cannot stress this enough, but do not go clothes shopping in excess. You don't want to do it. There's shops for clothes already that will suit your budget. Don't do it. It doesn't make sense. Do not buy clothes. You will regret it, trust me. Butter, 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 box. So if you've enjoyed this video, trust me, that means you enjoy all our old series. So go back and watch them. And then go forward, go move, and then moving forward, do not forget to watch me every week here on the Butter Box Japa series. Do not forget to also send me questions of anything that you want me to answer. I'll be so glad to answer all your questions. Love you guys. See you guys next week on the Butter Box Japa series. Bye guys. Bata, 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 box.